I unlearned to play Oxygen Not Included today from scratch. Hopefully I'm not too much of a disaster. Feel free to tell me what I'm doing wrong. Just don't be too obnoxious. But yeah, let's just jump right in. New game. No, I'm still learning. Let's go no sweat. Uh Michael actually gives the That's pretty cool, he actually gives different things. No unusual features. Oceania. Quite stable resource rich, but the majority of the area is covered in saltwater ocean. Careful expansion and resource usage should lead to a successful colony. Hmm. Oh, okay, I just have to hit reload here, okay. Miscalculated pot location. Oh, that's hilarious. It's a bit loud. Lower this down a little bit. I've never played any other ones. I've only played this first one. I'm almost tempted to try some of these other ones. Just to see how I do. Frozen Core. That does not help at all. Do we have Verdante? Rhyme? I like how Gibbs getting progressively worse the further you go down. We have Slim. It's just... okay. It's ideal for a first attempt at establishing a colony. Now I want to try something different. I've played the other, one, the first one, way too many times. So let me try this one. I want to see if I can get something better here. Magma channels. That's cool. Volcanoes. Frozen core. Volcanoes. Oh, one has rich. Not a rich, but it has volcanoes too. Give me one that's metal rich, but in a can. Come on now. Give me something good. Uh, that looks good. Sickly slime growths have been located all over. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just go with this. Never played this biome before, so this should be fun. Little pickles. Right, little peep squeak. Yeah, that's you. Okay, now well, who do I want? Let's see. More hands, better ex excavation. Decrease germ, fall, cannot narcoleptic. Cannot research. Good at doctoring. Building and tidying. Farming, cooking and doctoring. It's amazing at farming apparently, but we don't really care that much about farming in the beginning of the game, so. Hmm. I don't really care for medicine, I don't think. Let me pick. Uh, what do I want? Okay, I'm gonna need a decorator just to get the good art artsies. Keep it rolling. This is good. That's perfect. Okay, early bird and biohazardous. Alright, Lindsay. I think I want to pick something better though than just cooking and doctoring. Come here, pickles. If you want my lap, you have to come on my lap. We've talked about this before. Come on. Ah. 
There you go. Okay. Now you have to be here. If you want a lap, you gotta be on my lap. Okie dokie. Alrighty, so what do I want? She's good at excavating. But I, I think I need a dedicated digger now. I want a really good digger. Well, I guess I got one, but decrease strength though. No, I don't want that. Squimish. Don't care. Another Yoko. No, we don't need another Yoko. Rich of Bow, no. Pacifist, no. Give me good digging. That's good digging. Squimish, but it can do doctrine. No, this is perfect. Gourmet Cuisine. Cuisine. Decrease food morale bonus, though. Because it can make a good doctor. I mean, make a good cook, I suppose. But no, I want just a good digger. Decrease the lightning smelt. God damn it, give me something good. Hey, Derbent, you're the good morning. How are you? Good afternoon, good evening. Night out, iron gut. There we go. That's perfect. That's what I wanted. That can do doctor. That's fine. Alright, this is our team. Okay, we'll just call this Tunnel Festering Facility. Perfect name. There we go. The Festering Facility. Alright, so the absolutely first thing I have to do in this game, of course, is to get beds and a toilet. That's like the number one priority. So in this game, you, you start with, that was, we're just starting right now, you start with a, a bunch of little guys and you have to survive. You have no idea what's going on, just you know that there's a little bit, there's limited oxygen. You start with a little bit of food in here, it looks like you start with some nutrient bars and that's it. You have to survive, just survive somehow. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to dig. Just dig around and find a way to survive. So let's dig a lot. This way. All the way. And let's get this up. See, so yeah, I opened an area that had a lot of CO2, so that's bad actually. But this oxalite here provides some oxygen for us, just in the meantime, until we get the base running. So they find some food as well that was dug in, so that helps them as well a little bit. So I'm building a ladder over here. Let's dig a little bit more. Oh, they dug up a bunch of sand, so they're now stuck there. So I need to tell them to dig that. Because they're not very smart. One thing you learn that dupes are complete idiots, so you have to always be adapted to them. What sprinkles? Not talking about you. <laughs> Alright, let's get some beds going. Okay, so I'm gonna need bed number one, bed number two, bed number three. Let's expand this a little. And we can make some toilets. Uh, plumbing, right? Yep, yeah, better outhouses. Let's go one. Oh, we can't dig there yet because we don't have anybody who's proficient at digging that kind of thing yet. So we have to dig a little further this way. So one. Can't dig that either. What is that? Oh, that is already hard digging. Okay. Change of plans. We're not digging there. Because we're going to have to put this up here. Alright, so I am actually going to put the odd houses right here. Can I dig through that? Igneous rock. I hope I can. Can I? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So, our houses. One, two, three. 
And then for every outhouse you build, you must always put a wash basin. So we're going to go one, two, three. And this is just temporary. We're, we'll get better bathrooms in the future. Right now, this is just the first day's job, which is to get a place to, the place to shit and a place to sleep. And let's go ahead and dig this way. And I want to separate the nine here so that they do the dig the floor first, so this stuff doesn't fall down and kills everybody. But yeah, this is priority nine because this needs to be done first, no matter what. So in this slightly blue thing, that's that's what's representing the oxygen. And now they're hungry, so they, they grab whatever food they found that they're in the dirt and start eating it, and they're gonna go to bed. In the morning they're gonna wake up and they didn't go to the bathroom, but we don't have a bathroom yet, so. Hopefully in the morning we'll get we'll get a bathroom. So this doesn't have any water because we don't have a water pump. So that's where you have to put in a pitcher pump like this. So that water can be uh, sift, siphoned from the small water tank we have. There seems to be a lot of water in this. It's nice. A good, good way to start. So you see, we already lost a block of oxy, oxalite, because it's, it's filling up this air with oxygen. So we still, we're still not good enough to survive. Right now, we're just barely making it. Yeah, see, no outhouse, but that's what that's why it's warning you. Like they're gonna just piss in the first place they see it unless we build it. So that's why I'm telling them to build this quick. Otherwise, they're just gonna piss on the floor and it's gonna ruin everything. Come on, guys. Hurry up, that bathroom. There we go, bathroom is up. Go ahead and you guys. See, now they use it. There you go. So now they use the bathroom and they no longer need to go to the bathroom. So now we'll get the basics. Place to sleep, place to go to the bathroom. The arrows just point out which direction they need to go before they they wash their hands. I'm gonna set it to the right so they can link the bathroom when they go that way. And let's go ahead and dig a little bit more. Okay. Put the floors. You see, oxygen is getting used pretty quickly right now. That's that was expected. And uh, now what we can do is go ahead and start using the ox diffuser diffusers to produce oxygen, as we need it. And for that, of course, we need energy. So we need a manual generator, and we need to connect the wire so that it has a way to power it up. Actually, let's not do this power too close because it generates a lot of heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that a little further down the road. And we're gonna have to start doing research as well, so we can get that going. So we're gonna put that even further down. See, so always realize that dupes are complete idiots, so they might get stuck somewhere and just completely ruin your game. So you gotta be careful where you tell them to dig, because they will kill you if you if you let them just do whatever. All the power is connected. And of course, they use the bathroom before I go to bed. Then they go grab some food. No, they, they didn't have to go to the bathroom. They sleep yet. They just had to go to the bathroom. But yeah, this game is basically a survival game where all you have to do is survive inside this asteroid. Oh, my <laughs> portal is obscured. I gotta dig that, so otherwise, I'm never gonna get any more survivors or resources. So what I'm gonna do is turn this into a barracks so that he gets a bonus for being at confined quarters. Yeah, 
There's this thing called rooms. If you click on this room overlay, so let's see, this turned into a barracks because it has it gives you morale bonus for being a confined room. Even if you leave the doors open, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. It's leaving the doors open. So that See, now I have research. The first thing I want to research here, the research tree is not that big. As you can see, it's not really that big. So the first thing I want to do is get planters, because that will cover the food problems. So I'm going to start here, basic farming, so I can get planter boxes. And... From that point on, we have to start digging and exploring and survive. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. And I will set this priority 6 because I want, I want it to always be researching. Of course, oxygen should always be a priority, so it's always a six. And the more you dig, the further you go, you start exploring things too, of course. Now they're delivering things over here. So I said it's high priority? No, they're just doing that for some reason. Okay, so the guy has nothing to do right now, so we're gonna tell them. <coughs> just build this flooring. All the way. And they won't be able to do all of it, of course. So they'll just get as far as they can, and then I'll start telling them to dig. So I will dig this top part first, gonna get rid of all that sand so it doesn't kill any, any of my dupes. And of course, the, the better they get at something, they're gonna start learning jobs. And that's where you can get duplicate skills and they're gonna start getting better jobs eventually. Right now they don't have any skills because they haven't gotten any better. They have to do a lot of jobs before they get better. I said it's priority five. I need to get used to five and six like that because I always end up putting everything online and it ruins my colony. This is just how quickly they'll do a, a job. The higher the number, the, the faster they will do one of the jobs. Make sure here, yeah, storing everything that's edible. It's coming in here. So now, see how we're, we were going to start running out of food very soon? This is very limited food. We only have 30, 33k worth of food here. So each of them seems to worth, eat like a thousand calories a day. And we also have to start worrying about oxygen. Notice how the the nice clean oxygen is in the middle and the other CO2 will go down and start infecting the base. We're also going to start digging down at some point. So the CO2 can go down and not hurt our base. But right now I'm just getting some empty space so I can... Because I'm going to do a, probably planters up here so we can get some uh, food for the colony. I'm purposely leaving, not digging this because I want the sand, because the sand will always fall down, right? The, the sand always falls to the lowest place it can until it hits something solid. So it's if you, if you let it go down, it creates another pile. So it's better to just dig the sand right off the bat to save you that, that uh, aggrievement, a grievance, grievance. That's what the word, that's what I was looking for. Oxygen's still kind of crap, but. We can survive with this for a while. Our research is almost done. Okay, we can go back to digging this. I 
So they, they do whatever they can to get to the priority six as quickly as possible. Just kind of cool how they do that. Oh, this one's gonna fall. You see, sand fall down. Just wanted to show that. And there's there's a lot of algae here, so which definitely gonna we're gonna dig into it. And here's some meal wood, which is what I need to start our farm. You notice how there's a ton of water. That's water. We're gonna, probably gonna let let it come all the way down, and just fall in the reservoir because it would make sense. Actually, yeah. Before we actually even dig this, I'm actually gonna purposely open that water so it falls down. Yeah, see, there's no awesome, no O2 no right here. They're about to get drowned here, but they're not gonna really drown. They're just gonna be covered in water for a little bit. There the water goes. And it's, of course, the water is really cold, but the water falls straight down to our reservoir that I had nicely set, set up already. Okay, while the guy's doing, let's go ahead and start digging another direction. Like this way. Oh, no research queue. Okay. Let's go ahead and start another thing. So next thing I want to research is probably better research. So there's an advanced station somewhere here. Gotta find it. Come on, advanced station. Right, there you go. Advanced research. I hope this is enough space for all this water. It should be. Did have you a meeting at the end of the day? See, everything went good today. We found some food, found some water. We finished research, so life is good. And I'm going ahead and snap. Not, I don't need. I'm never gonna. You should probably never need to build a microbe musher on your game. It's one of the biggest mistakes most people do when they first start is building a, all the microbe mushroom. They use just a lot of water that you really don't need to waste. Water can be better used for so many other things. Okay, so next I want to do is some uh, food. So I'm going to throw one, two, three. Usually four planters per, per dupe is good enough. And I want some mule wood seed, which there's some over here, but we got to wait for them to, this water to drain out first. I could excavate this, let him deconstruct this, so we can dig down over there. Alrighty, so now we have some meal wood seed. We can start our farm. Flint, and then copy settings. Dig that too. So right now we're doing okay. It just looks like we have a first food source. They can always dig only uh, two tiles above their head, so whenever you're digging, save two space for your... I always like uh, uh, sets of four. The the meal wood is good because it doesn't require water. All it, all it needs is really is dirt. It can grow in dirt. They really are... Like, they. It's a stick that grows out of the ground and then like worms come out of it. Uh, before I click on this, let me see what it is. Xifran could be used, but he uses water. But hang on, before I, I pick one, I'm probably going to pick the Ellie, but I'm going to need to make space for it before I accept any of those. Okay, I think we have enough here. Let's see if we can start mopping this up. Yeah, let them start mopping this up. And the next thing I want to do is uh, something to drop water on. So I'm going to put this bottle emptier right here. 
this will let me drop water down into this pit. I'm to keep mopping this. Get this clean, people. Chop, chop. Yep, clean it up. And we're gonna make more bath more bedrooms so that we can have the more room for right now we don't have space for new colonists. So there's no point in getting the new ones. What I will do here though is making I'm gonna make this reservoir. Actually we build actual walls in this reservoir right now. I think this right here should be our good limits. How long have I played this game? Uh, not very long, only about 4,000 hours or so, so I'm still kind of new to it. And then next we're going to go ahead and build floors. And let's go ahead and dig this down. And dig this. I, I, I've been playing this since, from, since early release, like back in... What was 2016? When it first came out? I don't even remember. But I like to learn slowly, so it's taking me a long time to learn what I know right now. So that's why I've been kind of narrating what I'm doing. And hopefully, if you guys, if I can learn something for you guys, it'd be great. But for now, if I if I ha if I get stuck somewhere, I will gladly ask you guys. But feel free to point point out. Yeah, I will post this on YouTube, which is a good idea. I don't normally do that, but I would definitely do that for this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep digging over here. And I want to go ahead and make sure that, of course, this is not, now we don't have access to this, so we got to make sure they have, so if I just put one ladder, they can, yeah, they can jump a skip, like that. And how's it going, YYTV? Welcome to the stream, by the way. Yeah, they're going to be upset here, but that's fine. And are they researching something? Oh, it's because I have, right, that's right, I have priority 9 for these. It's just priority 5, it's just fine. Because I know how to explain what I'm doing. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do another priority five over here. Some of them got the sniffles because they were inside cold water for too long. Notice that the temperature here is 22 degrees. And uh, we're starting to have quite a buildup of CO2, so we're gonna have to do something about that in the future. I'd like to keep things keep stay organized for a while. Alright, and now we can dig into this as well, so we can have that more mule wood, because our food is going to be a problem in about 14 cycles. So I want to make sure that is taken care of. And now that I have this walled in, I can easily, I can clear this without worrying about if I'm going to drown my dupes. So, dig this up, all of it. And let's build some ground. Ground. In ground. Ground. Yeah, this water is probably going to be a problem too. There's a lot of water here. Oh, and I see that we have a new biome here that I haven't seen before. The looks like salt and sand. This is the second asteroid when I would start a new game, by the way. So this is not the it's not Terra. It's the second one. I wanted to try a different biome because I never tried it. I've always just played the first one. So I want to see how well I do on this one. So far, oxygen is okay. All the CO2 has seen have collapsed further down. Alright, and this I don't want to make sure this is liquid, so like just regular water. Because there's polluted water, there's later we can get crude oil, we can get liquid chlorine. Th this game is a, basically a science lab. It's like if you if you're if you loved playing with science stuff when you're a kid, this game is for you. And this game is so much fun. We'll just go ahead and keep digging more stuff. Just get this base basically started. And you, you'll notice that I'm very OCD with my buildings. So I, most of the stuff is just temporary, but I like to build things very lined up and very pretty looking. So I mentioned this water reservoir is going to probably go down here. That's actually that's not, not a bad idea. I'm actually move this water reservoir all the way down. 
because we have a lot of water. I wasn't expecting to start with this much water. So I will dig a ladder all the way down. That way all the CO2 would also go all the way down. This is a huge obsidian boulder right here. Uh, so now my, uh, my, my guys have earned a skill. And when you click on skills, like you, you can actually pick whatever things that they love. But keep in mind, the more skills you give to your dupes, the more morale they're going to expect. Like right now they don't expect anything because they're like completely uh, unreliable labor. Because they're all 1-0. One like one, once their current morale, how much they currently need is 0. So, right now, they, they, you could just throw them in a sack of sand and they wouldn't care. But right now, if I'm going to give them this guy because I, I wanted to get a good digger, so I pick hard digging. Because this, this guy wants to go in hard digging, so I'm going to give him that hat. Hard digging. So he can he has a plus two bonus to his digging. So he, And he can actually dig very firm material. So the first, there's three tiers of material. There's a firm, very firm. So then there's a absolute mining. And eventually you can diamond and obsidian. So like if you will actually need a lot of morale for this one. See how this one you need morale of uh, six just to use this. So right now the best morale I can forgive them is looks like it's a two because he's working a job that he likes. So he gets one morale bonus from that. Okay, and then, then let's go with this guy once. Devon. He wants farming. So let's give him farming and give him the farming hat. And then Max wants decorating. He's gonna be our decorator. And normally I don't let them decorate anything until I get to Masterwork, so then they produce really good stuff and it produces a lot of morale. So I'm just gonna leave the art from the metal just so he can have a hat. Yes, let the, zap their brain, zap their brain. Okay, so I'm gonna build a second uh, bedroom over here so we can have more people come in. And if you would like to have your yourself named in my game, just let me know. And I'll put you in, pick a random dupe and put you in. If you like to, of course, you don't have to. Next I'm going to start my second room right here. And eventually I'm going to, this entire reservoir is going to be stripped down to come down here. So I'm actually not going to bother finishing this side. I'm just gonna dig all this stuff down here. And we also have found some oxalite and some more meal wood. So this this is what the meal wood looks like after it grows. It produces meal lice, which your your dupes can survive on this until you can get some pretty bad, better food, which is exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm not gonna bother try to get better farms or anything. So let's let's go ahead and just dig all the way down here because I'm, I'm gonna make a nice reservoir because now I, I, I can dig some of this stuff so I will uh, let's see how I'm gonna build this uh, it's like a very large reservoir like this actually I'm gonna cancel this because I don't want it to risk letting this polluted oxygen into our base let's drop it right like so Wait, what is this? Slime. Let's not let let's not dig the slime. We're not ready. Germs? Nope, no germs right now, because it's the starting biome. There's no germs. No germs. Only a little bit of food poisoning here from the lab. But that's okay. I wanna make sure I don't dig into the slime biome for now. Yeah, this is gonna be our huge reservoir just for the beginning until we get our reservoirs, our actual reservoirs ready. And get digging. You guys are gonna be busy for a while. Are we almost done with the advanced research? We are. Good. Let's throw three more cots right here because we're gonna be having dupes living there soon. Let's keep digging. Dig. Dig it all. Now here I want to be careful because if there's sand they might open this reservoir so I should be okay because I don't see any sand that would accidentally fall into our base. 
or scientist. He's busy, which is I want I wanted to do. Just keep digging there. This is all just temporary digging. No, you idiot. See, you now this guy's gonna get stuck here now because he was not very smart. As with every dupe, they're not the smartest. Things. And now he's stuck. So what we gotta do is drop some tiles over here so he doesn't get stuck. Dupes are the... They should probably, they should probably rename derps at some point. I'm gonna go ahead and do priority 9 because I didn't need to do this. So you guys, guys gonna die from lack of oxygen over here. There, now he can get out. Let's just go for 39 over here because now this guy's these guys are not smart. See, had I not done that, they got it suffocated there. Okay, let me priority nine anymore. I want this to be, always be priority 7, just to generate energy and uh, research. This should always be the number one priority. This is fine. This, this is not an emergency, by any means. See, when this is all priority 5. And the way that they determine what, they, what they're gonna do, they always start at the center, right? They look at everything that has uh, the highest priority. And they start with the, they're not higher, so they start with the sevens in this case because it's the highest in my base. And then they go sixes, fives, all the way to ones. And then if there's multiple sevens, then they start looking at what is highest in their decisions of priorities. Now, one of these guys is a decorator, Max. So I want to make sure that nobody else decorates because otherwise they make really shitty things. So I purposely say do not decorate. For those of you who come in, I'm not gonna let them decorate. Max is gonna be the only guy who decorates. That when they're building works, works of art, the way things come out really nice. And we're, we're not beginning is, is very boring because all you're doing is digging just to prepare for your base. No, I can actually just do this. Another day, second number eight. Get more research going. And at this point, once I have the advanced research in food, what is my next decision? Uh, what is one of the most things I'd like to be at the beginning? Probably plumbing, but I don't really have storage and anything. I'm just gonna research everything at this point. Just let him research absolutely everything. We're going to need an advanced research station because we just got that now. But I'm also going to do a, a secondary research. Actually, no, not, not yet. Let's just do a supercomputer for now. And all these power grids are going to change, by the way. And this is just very preliminary work, just to get us started. I wanted to go ahead and get this dug out first because there's more meal wood lice that we need. Uproot that as well. Uproot this as well. So we have a shine egg nymph. <laughs> shine bug. Oh, they're nice. It's, you don't want to let them get into your bedrooms because they will cause you to not be able to sleep very well. We don't have anybody who's good at researching, do we? We don't. Okay, I need to get this finished. So we need to get, start getting more people here now. This is also going to be all priority 7, because farming is... we don't have any farming right now.
Yeah, we also don't have a lot of new wood seeds. So how is everybody's weekend? Now it's Thursday. Is everybody just happy that it's Thursday? Yeah, I definitely want to get Ellie. Plus seven wrenching is pretty awesome. But I'm still, I need to get first the space for her. Oh, I do. I have space for her. All right, Ellie, you are coming in. Welcome. Does she come with a skill point? Of course she does, because she's awesome. So. She gets farming as well because you need that to get ranching. So that's what we're doing. She'll probably give you the head as well in the meantime. No, we don't actually need to give you the head because she, she doesn't care for the head. So. Eventually I'm going to replace some of these tiles with airflow so the, so the CO2 can go all the way down. Oh yeah, but you're going to the movies. Any movies you're particularly going to watch? Okay, now, I usually I keep these guys alive, but I'm actually going to kill these guys because I don't want them to eat my food. Attack. Why are you not at? It's not priority 9. Okay, priority 9. Attack. You're not attack, so you have to do it again. Priority 9. Attack. Somebody? Kill this guy before they eat our food? Anybody? Hello? Okay, I guess we're not gonna bother killing that guy for a while. Oxygen is still okay. Temperature is still okay because we haven't opened any cold biomes yet. I mean, oh, this one is really hot. Okay, we should be careful then with our. We have to get insulated tile very quick. That's exactly what I'm going to do first then. So screw the research instead of this. Let's go into insulated tile. That's very hot outside. We got to take care of that right now. Insulated tile. There you go. Temperature ventilation. Yeah, I don't have anybody who can research too, that's the problem. Oof, this place is very hot. 33 degrees, that, that can kill a colony. Maybe we should have dug up instead of down. This area is very warm down here. I do need you guys to dig this quick though. So let's. Uh, it, it's because we're playing on the second biome, so there's. It's very, very. Notice how the green is good. It's a temper. That's perfect weather. Chill. They can survive in chilled, and warm. But the second you start getting to this one where it is hot, you start getting in trouble because then the plants won't grow, which kills all the plants, and therefore you can't survive on that. So we need to get insulated. Uh, the first because the first. That's the biggest problem when you get when you first start this game is you completely ignore temperature, which is the, the biggest base killer. Most people completely forget about it. So if you completely insulate your base with insulated tiles, your base will survive. Seeing the kitchen and scary stories to tell in the dark. Oh, I need to see those. Love horror movies. I mean, Kitchen could be a horror movie, right? <laughs> so 
So I might actually cancel these tiles and already start switching to insulated tiles. As a matter of fact, instead of rebuilding it, building it twice. Do we have anybody that can? We don't have anybody who can get that research. Can it? Can we? We cannot. We definitely need a researcher, and that's like a priority right now. I should have grabbed that researcher, I wasn't thinking. Hey there, Eliavi, how's it going? Temperature is still okay, but the heat is coming in. We gotta, we gotta deal with this very, very soon. We just don't have a researcher, though. Two more days, we get another print that we should be able to. Hopefully, we get a researcher. We can just give one of these guys the research hat just so we can get that research. See, these are the only priority six, so they're they're definitely doing those things first, which is kind of nice. They're doing what I told them to do, so. Oxygen is still okay. Don't need to get anything special. Food. Uh, edible. Still good on food. Got plenty of food. So now we're just setting up all the potential rooms for the future. The other thing I want to do is a place for them to eat. Uh, probably up here would make sense, but I don't want to do it down here. I think I want to do it here. Do I already have mess halls? Of course I do not. Because advanced, that one was very important. Get the insulated tiles first. Yeah, they're they're they're. Getting the, making their way there. All right, one cycle. We should get our new dupe. Usually, I stick with nine dupes. It's the best. Uh, it's like an optimal number for me. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Most of them are not using a lot of water, so we don't really need to go crazy and try to use all our water to like make better food right now. Our dupes are perfectly happy. They say they have more morale than they need. We don't need to go crazy with our morale. Because if you could sp you can build a micro musher here that would you can use it to cook better ingredients, but in the beginning of the game you really don't need that much morale. And you're gonna get morale from other things so they don't have to do better food. Not for a while at least. They will even just eat raw meat, apparently, because they don't care. <laughs> now, these little guys here, these hatchlings, they will start eating anything and and, and spit out coal. So you got to be careful with them, too, because otherwise they'll start eating important resources. And when the coal eventually turns into CO2 if it gets too hot. So you got to be careful with that. Speaking of hot, the, the warm is definitely getting in. We need those insulated tiles. 
0.5 cycles before we get the 0.5 cycles we're gonna get another dupe. Hopefully we get a scientist. I really hope we get a scientist. Colony achievement earned because we care. Let's see. We have at least one total in the colony for a bed for every duplicate. Yep. Point three cycles. Then we got a new dupe. Come on, scientist. Good for Look, I can actually open this area. There's a lot of oxygen here. So you gotta be careful not to open to these biomes too early. Oh, there's a volcano over here. Saltwater geyser. Nice. There you go. Come on, researcher. I wonder if I save the game. If I get if I can reload it just to keep getting different dupes. I really want a researcher. Let's see. Do you get a research here? Nope. But I'm, I'm, I'm still see if it matters. I just want to see it. I never tried doing this. Saves coming to see if I can get a scientist. I want to see if it makes a difference. Probably doesn't. But I just want to see it. Oh, it does make a difference. You get different people. Alright, well, I, I really, really want a scientist. So I'm actually I'm going to save scum for a little bit. So I apologize. But I really need a scientist. This place, where it's heating up quick. If we don't deal with this now, our colony is just gonna die, so. Scientist, no scientist, come on. Give me a scientist. Anybody interested in science, don't care. Digging, tiny, burning, cooking, nope. No scientist, One more time. Researching, there we go, perfect. Gene, cannot do, oh wow, it's even perfect stats. Excellent. Print, welcome Gene. You are now our super scientist. Advanced researching, good, do your job. Let's get you your hat as well, oh, skills. Advanced research. Okay, Ellie, I guess we can give you the farming hat. I don't know if you're gonna be happy with that. Yeah, it didn't make a difference, you just like the hat. Yeah, so now with the advanced scientists we can actually use the supercomputer. Which is what I needed, that's why I, I want to make sure that... Jin could do it. Yeah, so the guy goes, yay, scientist! <laughs> We should be able to get the sweet insulated tiles now. Now he should be researching soon. It's priority seven as well. This takes dirt to keep using, this one takes water. The heat you see how the heat is slowly creeping in? It was up to here. It was actually I'm just gonna just so I can remember where the heat is. I'm just gonna put markers. Oh, apparently you cannot do that. Okay, maybe can I do this in fact? Marker? Nope. More germs. Still just food poisoning, of course, from the toilets, which we're not gonna have a place to dump the poison water too from these. So we're gonna need a place to use them. 
we could start a terrible reservoir somewhere, but let, let them finish this first. One one task at a time. They got plenty of stuff here to dig. There we go. That's what I like to see. Looks like they found some more meal wood, which is nice. There should be plenty of food for the, for the next 100 cycles. <laughs> more than enough food. Do we have insulate tiles? Insulate tiles yet? Insulated. Where is insulate? They're still researching. Still got plenty of food. Still got a ton of algae. There's tons of algae here. That's not gonna be a problem either. Can just dig a few more just for now. We're not gonna be relying on algae for very long. We eventually we're gonna switch to hydro uh, hydrolyzers. Which you can take water and convert it to, it converts into hydrogen and of course water. Sorry, hydrogen and oxygen. And with that, you can. Sorry, for, I blanked out here for a second. And then you can power up your hydrogen generators and no, oxygen for the base. See, it's already giving you duplicate because the temperature is creeping in. That's why we're getting the insulated tiles. Okay, that's done. So the important thing is research. Let's go hydrolyzers next, probably. Where are our hydrolyzers? Oh, we need this too, so yeah, there you go. Get that done. All right, another way of insulated tiles. That's This is the very important thing to do when, so your base doesn't die from overheating. It's completely surrounding your base with uh, insulated tile. We don't have any really good materials right now. So we're just going to use actual sandstone. We have a ton of sandstone, so I uh, will go ahead and start completely covering our basin. And this is going to take a long time for them to build because this takes forever to build. So it's important to tell them to start this early. And for now, I don't think I want to keep this base too big. I think just this is enough for the central base. I'll go ahead and keep going all the way. And we're going to probably open this first before we start building walls over here. Okay, I'm probably going to open all this so the water just flows down right here too. But this should be priority eight right now is to get this done. You'll see why this insulated tile is so important is you can keep your base cool. And then you can just step outside with atmospheric suits. Oh wait. <coughs> <coughs> I built this a tower too low. Hey there, Shit Daddy. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. So we're, we just barely started on this one. We got the, the very basics here. We got a couple beds, basic oxygen generation, which is not enough right now. I'm going to just throw a second one. We have a ton of algae. 
we can survive for a while without it. So we're in the process of insulating our initial base so we don't die from overheating because the map number two seems to be very warm. See how it's already becoming a problem? So you gotta make sure we insulate it really quick. Because it's nice and cool over here. Hopefully we're gonna find a way to cool down our base. It is very hot over here. So yeah, this insulated tiles need to be built as soon as possible. Let's prioritize that and just so they can access all of them. So priority eight, actually, hang on. Let them finish this first. So we can drop our water there. Yeah, they're gonna be busy for a while. Research can wait until we get all this done. Are you a veteran, shoe daddy? Of uh, oh, so you're not included. I always like learning new things in this game, so. I'm still kind of new to the game. You bought it over a year ago? Okay, yeah, I've been playing this since it came out on Early Access. Like when you first came out, where all you had was like a small uh, research tree. Uh, and this game is fun. Like I've, I've been starting from the beginning, and on the very beginning, you can just survive on mule life, so you don't really need to go crazy on using microbe mushers or anything like that. What I'm doing right now is completely insulating my base because the temperature from the outside of your base will is slowly creep in and eventually kill all the plants from heat overheat. So what we're doing is completely insulating our base so the heat doesn't come in to our base. So that's our number number one priority is getting this ready. Oh, hang on, we have a dog train coming here. Come on, bubbly. Hi. You wanna say hi to the stream? You gotta say hi to the stream. Okay, come on. Oh my goodness. Say hi. Hello, stream. There you go. <laughs> that was a dog just trying to say hi. Still got a lot of work to do. We got plenty of food, which is good. Temperature is still okay. I'm just gonna do all this priority eight. I just want to just dig all this through. I'm gonna need I need a water reservoir. Just need those meal wood. Yep, fruit all there. I'll just plant our boxes on need. This is more than enough food for all of them. Did you go outside? We did go outside, because you're a good girl. You have a lot of success for locating your clean water early. Um, yeah, but locating is not a problem. Just got to make sure you, you save a spot down here. I actually only use my water for hydrolyzers. That's basically what I, the only thing I use my water for. After I'm done with the research, 
I only use it for hydrolyzers for the most part. I'm still uh, getting used to the whole using water to cool down stuff. I'm still in that process of learning it. But I'm gonna eventually. I want my water reservoir, clean water reservoir, to be down here. Uh, I was trying to get polluted oxygen here. That's not good. Yeah, still having a little bit of problem with oxygen here, but this shouldn't be for too long. We got we got a six tons of algae. We're gonna have to get a. You wait for a hot sauce, hot source, hot source, steam vent geyser to hydrolyze. Oh. I wonder if there's a snow biome in this. Um, the second planet. I'm not sure if there is. It's a lot of metal in this place. We, I just want to save just in case we get only shit. Let's see what do we got. Supplying. Ugh. Okay. No. Reject all. Don't, ugh, I've got to grab the mushroom, but whatever. Didn't really care for any of that. Settings. That's what I wanted. I love it. We'll go out to in a little bit, okay? Like an hour or so. You probably just went out. I'll go out at about six so six thirty or so, okay? Oof, see, there's a lot of heat coming in. I'm not happy with that. But we're, we're getting, we're making progress. We're not priority nine. It's getting this taken care of. They're taking way too long with this. I think I'm ready to wall this off as well. Nobody get in there. Good. I was going to say, I was hatching to make sure they're, they're not stuck in there. Please just get this done. This usually takes forever to build. That's the only problem with insulated tiles. The beginning of the game, they just take forever. I still wonder if we're going to find any snow biomes in this. I'm not seeing any close by. We're gonna need that. Yeah, so priority number one, oxygen, priority number two, food, priority number three, temperature. And those are all colony killers. Right now, I don't say oxygen is okay, but now it's because at the, at the bottom there's a lot of CO2. And that's just expected. First thing we want to do is just make sure. No, this is the second one. I went for the, set, the, the number two. I've always done Terra this whole time. This is my first time on the map number two. So apparently you're surrounded by a lot of uh, salt, which is a biome I'm not used to. It's like a lot of salt and bleach stone everywhere. Like there's like a lot of that. So what kind of metal is available there? Uh, there's okay, we have a lot of copper, so there's not any metals whatsoever. I did see a, a geyser down here. Let's see, uh, saltwater geyser and a natural gas geyser. 
Hang on. Cats are annoying my dog again. Hang on. It's Frank. It's my blood on the way. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. There you go. That was a bad idea. There you go. I love you. Stay here. I'll just stay here. You can't keep going back and forth, okay? Colony achievement. What is it? Construct a building outside the initial starting by them. Yeah, it's good. that was this. Oh my God, London. She cannot make her. Mind. I'm gonna leave this unpaused because we, we're just gotta wait anyway. What? What? It's just a kitty. Okay, why don't you lay down? <laughs> you guys hear the dog go right? Her name is London. She's a sweetheart, but she absolutely hates the cats. <laughs> so the cat's in the way. I can't move. I'm just bork at it. I'm just bork at the cat. The cat will move. We might need another oxygen just a second. I think I'm, I'm just going to do some terrarium just to eat some of this. Just for now, I normally don't use algae terrariums, but there's a lot of CO2 now. Just, this is just temporary. We're not going to need this for very long. I just want to consume some of this CO2. As a matter of fact, this is top priority. Uh, yeah, there is lime lung. That's that's what this is right here. Slime. It's all over the place. And since we're building this for good, I need to research deodorizers. So we gotta find that. Deodorizer. There it is. Ahead and load this up, guys. We gotta eat up some of the CO2. We're even starting. We're getting chlorine forming from all the excess CO2. See, this will will consume some of the CO2 and transform it into oxygen. Uh, right now, I, I know you never should rely on this because this eats a lot of water, and algae is not infinite. I feel, even though I have 15 tons right now. It's it's not it's not it doesn't last forever, so you can't rely on this for very long. Okay, looks like our basin here is kind of ready. Just want to make sure this is finished, so I can dump all the water down here. Got to get plenty of space for water. Follow you, Daddy. The stalker song. Okay, oxygen, still crap. Temperature, ugh. This is so bad that you get this this warm from the very beginning. Yeah, the second map. I want to say this is probably one of the hardest for beginnings. Oh yeah, I, I, this is my main game, Stellaris. This is actually the first day I'm streaming, Oxygen Not Included. It's a game that I, I love, I just never actually streamed it, but now there seems to be a lot of people interested in the game. And I love playing this game off-stream anyway, so this is my attempt to go getting into it. I'll probably dedicate half of my stream to Oxygen Not Included and half of Stellaris.
still is this news to watch? <laughs> okay. What's down here? What's, what's, what's this thing producing? Chlorine. Oh, it's, it's chlorine. It's the temperature here, like this chlorine is causing. To, maybe it was uh, sand chlorine? I've never seen that before. It was the bleach stone that injects chlorine, who knows? Hey guys, I really need you to finish the side. You gotta get all this water down there. Where's the oxygen? That's the this is the very clean oxygen at the very top. And this is shady oxygen, and this is CO2 that we can see, but they're not just unbreathable. Put in a storage comp Yeah, I know that. But it's fine, we don't really care if it's, uh, chlorine does, doesn't affect us that much. It's, it's so little of it, and it doesn't make much of a difference. Really wanted to get this done. The temperature is going to be a huge issue if we don't deal with this early. See how the it stopped the the red temperature from getting in. Now we have a nice green inside our base. That's why it is so important to get these insulated tiles early in your base, which is which just kills kills a lot of new players in this game. Is that lack of insulated walls? All this heat from the outside will slowly creep in and just kill everything in your base. All your plants are... then your dupes don't have enough food and then everything starts overheating and they all die. So, getting this taken care of early, even though it's a pain in the ass, because you know they take forever to do it, it will save your base so that you can live indefinitely. It just takes a lot of work. Are any of these guys better builders? Of course not. I don't have a single builder. We're gonna open up all this water to go down here. And I see all this water say this, this water, that water, this water. And probably just dig all the way up. Speaking of which, I probably can start planning my next. I want all this water to fall down there. I have a really nice reservoir just waiting for it. So as soon as this one's done, we can just dump all this water down there. And which is nice because all the CO2 will be pumped up because the, the water will just push all the CO2 higher. It should be eaten by our algae, which is not working hard right here. And this nice <laughs> shine bug is helping the algae to As soon as this is done, we can open all the floodgates. With some luck, we'll get start getting some whiz worths, right? Actually, I'm gonna try to get at least one. I'm gonna. I hate doing this, but I have to do some safe scavenge to get some whiz worths. If I don't get one in the first session, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna safe scum. Screw that. Oh, now that we don't need scientists anymore, we get two more scientists. You know what, I will get a second one. No taste. Okay, actually I'm gonna get this guy. Meat. Having two scientists is not, it's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. And I should put him to just dedicated research. 
like actually I'm gonna dedicate the two scientists to research. Everybody else can do whatever it's doing. We gotta make sure we progress on this. Watch one of them try to go through. Please nobody go through. Thank you. Alrighty, let's open this up. Bam. Of course, it is just okay. There we go. Good. Put all the water down. Be nice down here. Now we can set priority nine to this ladder. Yeah, we're in no rush for this water. Let them do its job. Get them down there. Priority 9 over here as well. Let's get all this water down there. Dig it all. Keep insulating the base. Let's protect this. No, it's food time. Oh, we'll get a morb. Kill it. This thing's excrete CO uh, polluted oxygen, which will cause slime lung and kill your base. So you gotta be careful with this. So they're already doing it. They're already excreting a lot of polluted oxygen. Which this thing is doing as well. We don't have deodorizers quite yet. We're researching that though. Yep, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Oh nice, this is cooling down down here too. Perfect. All oh, the nice and cold. It's going up. <laughs> we don't even need to get food off of these. We're so perfectly fine with food right now. I know you guys just want to dig this, so why don't you just dig it? Yeah, this one's in the wrong spot. Oh, we gotta make sure this is unplugged too. Whoops. Yep, because that's that would happen. God damn it. They just pissed themselves. No! No! Don't mix the polluted water. Yeah, we don't have enough bathrooms for all these people. Not yet. Let's just take, take, take care of that right now. Bathrooms. So we're all just building shitty bathrooms for now until we get our base taken care of. The immediate, the immediate concern here, like I said, is just the... The heat. Make sure we have bathrooms for them to use like the basic necessities. Why can this guy just go use this one? They had to be different. Use this cot. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna do this nine dupes. That's usually the number I guess stick with. I 
probably should also be putting some uh, just just to get rid of that uh, polluted stuff. Turn it into dirt. Oh yeah, we don't have any way to grab water now, do we? Oh, somebody pee in the water. Clean that. Do it. There we go. I find it hilarious that you can actually do that mop inside the, the water. Basic steps is almost done. I might have screwed myself over because this water is just going to fall over here, I think. We'll see. One way to find out. Who's our super digger? I'm sure he's doing just that. Abe, Abe is our digger. The game should be your number one priority. Just dig, and all the water just go down. We, yep, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> See, I knew that was gonna happen. That's okay. Every all the water just goes down anyway. Just like our base is flooded. Why has this not been killed? Great, nobody wants to kill this guy? Gonna do priority then. Priority, kill this guy. Is nobody gonna attack him? Are you not allowed to kill morbs anymore? When did that change? Nobody's attacking the morb. Are they all pacifists? I don't think so. Drop a plumber. Oh, yeah. About an empty air right here. Almost done with the insulation. Oh, they actually snore. <laughs> That's so cute. The little shininess. <laughs> it's adorable.
I think I'm gonna do the what you call it the airlock at the very top. Something else. What do we got? Don't care for it. Don't care for that. Operating and doctoring. Small bladder. Arcleptic. Oof. Nope. None of those. I just don't need a priority nine. These are just fives. Are we on food? Still got plenty of food. Research. We got, we got those deodorizers. Next, I want to get hydrolyzers. Where were they? Hydrolyzers. There we go. This is just just uh, I just want to make sure this is insulated. So I want to make sure I get my, my what you may call it. I want to make sure my insulation is already done before I start expanding and exploring. And oxygen is still okay for early game. Temperature. That's that's what I'm really concerned is the temperature because look at how hot it is right outside our base. So I want to insulate quick so we don't lose all the heat right at the beginning. Actually, close this off too. Yeah, we're almost ready to just completely close off. Decision is still okay, surprisingly. Temperature, that's what we're working on right now. We get all this water down there. Airflow tiles, they let just the air go through tiles. So airflow tile, it blocks liquid, but it lets air go through. So it's really good, actually, I didn't realize I already had it, that lets you all those like, uh, the, all that CO2 to go all the way down, so it goes down towards your algae, which I don't have right now. It's not going to matter very long, but I will go ahead and drop some of those in our base so that all this CO2 can go all the way down and be stuck at the top of our base. They do cost uh, base metals though, but because this map is metal heavy, I don't, I don't, I'm not too concerned about using them right off. And they also help you relieve pressure on farms. Like if you say if you say, if you get a farm that keeps saying there's a pressure problems, that is also a good way to relieve pressure from the room. Now, now we can start researching everything. So I don't know why we're not killing this morb. Are we not allowed to kill morbs anymore?
you know, with the airflow tiles, just notice how all the see all the red air now it's going down, because they can they can actually go through these tiles. That way it goes all the way to your algae, which you can then. Oh, and we have deodorizer, so I gotta make sure I put the deodorizer. We use sand or any filtration medium to eat through the polluted oxygen, which will cause a lot of disease in your base too. I'm just gonna put one on each. I don't need four anymore. Deconstruct this one. The deodorizer is it's really good to put it right next to the algae because see all this terrible oxygen. This, this might be generating some germs. Actually, there's no germs, it's just polluted. It's still breathable, but We gotta, we're gonna need to get some net, net nature gas there. We can eventually get to work on this, but right now the basic is get all the research done, the early uh, research at least, and then we we'll got plenty of food, plenty of oxygen. The temperature is stabilized. You notice how it's not red anymore over here. The insulated tiles are now blocking all the heat from coming in and letting just outside your base. I will, now, I, will, I like to leave all the heavy machinery outside your base so it doesn't generate any heat inside. Like, this generates heat. Like, you see how this battery, like, it does generate a little bit of heat when it has power inside of it. Right now, it doesn't matter much because it's only a small battery. But later on, batteries generate a lot of heat, which would also kill your base. So you got to be careful with that. These, so these deodorizers here, I'm going to... Priority nine. Make sure that they are used. They will throw some sand here, and all this bad oxygen that is coming in is just going to get consumed by the. There's, you know, it starts to consume all the polluted oxygen, and it spills out clean oxygen. And we still, we're going to need a reservoir for for piss, piss water. But let's go ahead and get. I want to make sure that they finish this first. Once you're finished, we can go to the next projects. But the project number one should be this. I don't know why they're not doing anything with this. Probably because they have priority eight on these. No, th these are priority eight. We don't need to rush these. Okay, these are definitely priority nine. It's just because they're bathroom cleanups. They have to be taken care of. Yeah, they're definitely taking their time digging this. Good, they're doing what I wanted to do. Yep, just cover all of that. Take advantage of the sweet, sweet um, cold biome. Because this map look is gonna give us trouble with it. What is I don't want to say the desalinization, because I've never used the desalinization before. I want to look at it, see what it does. It's in here somewhere. It's probably in the liquid, right? For sure. Liquids. Remove salt from brine or salt water producing water. Okay. I guess we don't really need to worry about it. We have plenty of water. We have, we have more than enough water as it is to survive. Probably gonna have to start setting up hydrolyzers outside so we can start producing clean energy. Uh, yeah, right now we're just researching everything anyway, so no rush. We have enough energy for all this 400. 
Yeah, we barely have enough energy here. Oh, they're finally attacking that. Yikes, it took them forever to go through that. Remember how long ago I, I gave that order to kill that little morb? Oh, yeah, I guess we do need the airflow tiles here. Alright, top priority then. I was gonna wait, but this needs to be done. So the CO2 just go down, because it's starting to accumulate here, and that's not cool. See, all the, now all the CO2 can definitely go through. There we go. Can't risk that. Can they construct this wall? We don't need it anymore. Can also deconstruct that. So we're already not five though. That doesn't need to rush any of this. I just wanted to get this done. Now this deodorizes what while it's converting all this polluted oxygen to clean oxygen, it also produces clay, which you use later to make ceramic. Oh we got ugh. Really not, nothing really that great. Supplying, okay, supplying and doctoring. It's pretty good. We'll get her. Lindsay, welcome. So she wants supply. Perfect. Supply all the things. How's morale looking? We got more morale than we need to see. All of them just need one morale right now because you know they're still level one dupes. So you, you should never rush to uh, also skill up your dupes too quickly. Otherwise, you, you're not gonna have enough morale. They're gonna start getting stressed out. And they start having those stressful reactions of destroying your base, crying, just vomiting. So you got, you gotta be careful not to rush. Like, oh my god, they got a got a skill point. Like you don't have to use it. You can actually not even bother to upgrade them ever. You're perfectly fine with level 1 dupes for a while until you're ready to go into space and explore. So, yeah. Right now this base is looking pretty good. It's very early, still. I'm actually gonna just duplicate what I have down here, make another res another regular advance so I can get all the research out of the way. Let's get more res research stations. Once I have all the research done, then we can move on. I keep looking for stuff that I don't have any research yet. We're gonna separate these two grids. Because multiple grids can cause overload on the wires that I really don't like having all that. Just, I just want to deconstruct the power wires. Yeah, we're gonna need a mess hall very soon too. Are we on food? Plenty of food still. Do we have dirt? We have a ton of dirt. They're just not fertilizing this. Okay, we're gonna do priority nine in this too. We're gonna start worrying about our food very soon. Muck root's not gonna last forever. So then go ahead and just farm all this. Yeah, well, stuff is rotting right here. Gonna get all this cleaned up. Also, have a nice. Like this starting biome, it's good enough to keep you alive. 
I mean, it's kind of cozy right now. See, we're still getting some heat. We're barely, we stopped that little red heat from coming in. We're done with all the research? Nope. I don't have the air station, sir. Do we even have hydrogen generators? Nope, not yet. Once we empty this water, we can start doing like a dumps for polluted water. It's a nice place over here already. Yeah, no, no slimes on the way down, so I can actually make a nice dig over there. I'm gonna start exploring the map after we're done with this installation. Let's just see what we've started with. Yeah, wash basins doesn't have water. Now why don't you guys just, just go ahead and load those up. It's fine. This is done, now we can open this up. Yep, open this up. Have fun, let all the water go all the way down. There we go. Whee! <laughs> look at that, it almost looks like it's not coming through. Uh, the surface tension, showing us how your surface tension works. Of course. Of course. He's an idiot. Always an idiot. Come on, Abe, dig this through so you don't die. Okay, no, guess just want to sleep. Just don't die, buddy. Did this to yourself? Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Come on, somebody come clean this. Let's not the polluted water mix up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There go. They mopped it up. Good. Alrighty, installation complete. Let's start exploring. Let's close the space now. Everything's closed. Make sure. Completely closed. No, no hot air is going to come in. Good. Nice cold one. Nice cold base. A little bit, a little bit warm here, so we'll drop, drop a couple wheeze words if we ever find some. All the CO two coming down here is being. The algaes are loving all the CO two. Now we start actually working on our base. Do we have mess halls? Yes, we do. We can start. We can do our mess hall. So we need we need nine of those. So room for the water cooler. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Water cooler. I'm 
Mess Hall also gives a nice morale boost. So if you go over here to room overlay, right? See, this is the mess hall. Right now we're doing it. And eventually it's going to become a great hall once we have more decorations, which we don't have right now. So right now it's just going to be a mess hall for a while. Okay, now we can just rush and get all this done. Please. Come on, make sure you guys go to the mess hall to eat. We need mess tables for you guys. No, you gotta use the bathroom first. See, now they're starting to assign tables. That's the thing with the mess halls, all the tables are actually assigned to each dupe. So every time one of them come to eat something, they have to lay down on a specific table. But not all of them were hungry. <laughs> Already get long commutes? We just started. Of course there's long commutes. Don't have anything. You'll notice that I like to use priority 9 a lot, because I'm always impatient when my dupes not doing what I want them to do. If you, of course, if you guys ever have any questions, please feel free to ask. Don't, don't be shy. <laughs> now we're starting the fun part of the game, which is exploring and Building all the mad, mad experiments. Okay, we got plenty of room here. There's a lot of there's some polluted oxygen over here. What is causing polluted dirt? Right, we might need some more of these. Is this already heat? Not 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 significant enough. Okay, we'll drop more of these just so we can get rid of all those polluted stuff. And now we can start. Let's go ahead and dig all the way to this so we can kind of do a temporary a piss, piss pull. <laughs> Let's dig. And this here's a cool way to dig if you've never done this before. You, you kind of do like a snake, snake like motion like this. They dig so much faster if you do it this way. Oh, I am kind of a noob instead. I mean, I've only played about what? 4,000 hours, so that's still a noob. I haven't made it into space yet. I mean, even after all these hours, I just barely know the basics of the game. Because I'm always trying to build the absolutely best base I can build. So I'm sorry. I'm just going to drop a little tire because the sand is going to fall down. Yeah, I love me maxing this game way too much. <laughs> How's it going? Any map you get with a cool slash always goes to hell because you never use it because I'm afraid you never use its full potential. I have yet to launch a rocket. That's how much I just enjoy messing with the map when I play. And I hope this playthrough I get to finally launch one. <laughs> I get all the steel and everything, I get it all built, but I get so enthralled. Like, I have this one base here. Let me just save this one and show real quick where I am with the other one. I'm gonna save this one real quick and just show the other one where, or what I'm doing. So this other one here, this Yoki Hovel, right? I, I just wanna show one a, a little later into the game how, how it gets for me. This is the one that I usually play off stream because I enjoy messing with this one so much. I just want to show how ridiculous this is when I normally play. And what do I do to all my mad machinations, right? So I was just barely making it to space. This one I just barely reached it. Alright, so here I'm going to show you my base from the beginning. So I have my plastic colony here with the little guys. Then I build my, my main thing. I have my lab laboratories, a little bit of cooking storage, my air facility goes out, all my, of course, and you can start going through the, my, the, my chlorinator, where I, I kill all the germs, my clean water, my polluted water, with the, with the, all the wheeze words that I use to clean this up, my pip farm, just to get meat sometimes, 
then here I store all my oxygen, my chlorine, up here I store my hydrogen, then up here we come to my refinery where I steal my cool worth and I have a chlorine gas, I have a natural gas down here, then we come down here, we have my oil reservoir, which is now since be out of power, whatever. Um, yep, and it goes all the way here, and then down here I have my filter that cleans all the different types of gas. We have one for CO2 and polluted oxygen, one for chlorine, one for natural gas. Yeah, I know, I haven't got this one's I barely started, it's only for 417. So I'm barely making through. Like I, like I said, I, I spend so much time trying to just grab everything, so I'm still going one at a time. That I, I dug up to call the Weezworths. And of course, I did a plastic thing here so I can, everywhere that I go, I have all the. I, I did I find out today that you don't actually need to have an exit. Uh, you don't need to have an entry point to, for them to exit out. They can actually exit out through these, which is, I didn't know this until today. I learned it by accident. And of course, up here, the actual entrance to one is over here. Then you have my crazy electricity, which I, I managed to use large power transformers to avoid all the all the overloading all my plants. This took some work to learn. But transformers is always the hardest thing for me to learn, and I finally figure out how to properly control them. Then I have a they have enough shipping automation that I can use over here that takes all the food prepare here in the cold biome, sends it over here, and then this thing sends it over to the fridge to be loaded. But yeah, like I said, this is a little further down, but I, I get so like uh, stuck trying to do all the little things and just making everything work as best as it possibly can. Like this thing here is a drop where every time something rots over here in our farm, I, I take over the rotted thing, drop it to these guys, which they will eat it and molt so we can use their shells to make lime, so we quit lime and make steel. And I, I just try to reuse every single thing that I find, so I get stuck for like a good 400 cycles just making sure everything has a use, like I, I don't waste anything when I play. So yeah, uh, but I, I'm gonna go back to the one because I, I want to play this, I want to finish this one on stream, of course. Let's go back to the one we were playing. So that just to show you how I, I got so focused on getting things done that, yeah, that was the tour of my base that I play off stream. So I said, I love this game. And I'm trying to just you know, show people how to play, because I think more people need to play Oni, because it's such a fun game. People just get intimidated by it, so hopefully me giving like a brief tour like I'm doing today, more people will get to learn the game and enjoy it. So back to starting your colony. At the beginning, like I said, I never bothered with superfoods, because they can survive perfectly fine on just build wood until we can get a better better resources. You notice on that previous base too that I didn't have any farms, right? All my food comes from just harvesting uh, frost uh, frost wheat, uh, sleet, wheat grain from the cold biomes, the pepper pinch of plants from the you know, hot biomes. I never actually plant anything, I just take whatever it's on the environment and just bring it to the base and cook it. And that way I don't have to keep waste dupes you know, farming all the time. Eventually, I, want, I like to build like just like automate everything so everything gets sucked in from the cold biomes. Pickles, I can't keep petting you right now. I'm sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> Here, you want to say hi to the stream? There you go. This is Pickles. She's the one who keeps asking for attention. Yes, that's you. <laughs> Little peep squeak right here. But yeah, I never played the second biome. It, it, all this salt here, I don't know. What is this even worth to do? Mess salt makes food uh, makes food taste better. It gives more morale. Isn't that what salt does in this game? Just kind of like in real life, throw salt and makes everybody happier. Let's keep digging down so we can dig faster. And works with rust machines. Ah, gotcha. I wonder if we have any rust in this map. Metal. There's fossil as well that spawns, and that's 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 gonna be useful for the lime. 
go to Malgan. Okay, we got a lot of science going on, that's good. Yeah, I like to just, I like to get the, all the research out of the way really quick. Usually by, by cycle 50, I have all the research done. So I can just focus on all the other fun things in the base. I don't have to keep wasting time researching all the time. So two scientists are usually more than enough. Yeah, we're already done with one branch. Kind of. I think we have enough here, enough oxygen and food to survive for a good 100 cycles. So we can explore a little bit just to see what we have. Oh, we can't dig Absolite. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we will be forced to dig this way. Oof, there's some slime there. Gotta be careful with that. Like all this polluted oxygen over here. I just want to clean them up real quick. And the research is done up here. Good. Next topic. Just research everything. Mop all this up. Probably need a storage bin. I didn't even bother with the storage bins. I like to put them outside of my base, if there's any contamination, it stays out. Not this much, I'm going to need the space for the... Miss first half of the stream, how did you get 11 billion gallons of water down there? I just dug everything down. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, like I, there, was, there was a container of water here, there was water over here, there was water over here. And there was a nice stuff of water over here, so we just dropped it all down. Uh, I, I play, I stream uh, Mondays and Thursdays, and then Saturdays and Sundays. I'm probably going to continue this one on Saturday morning. I'm going to play for very long today. It's only 6.40 p.m. for me. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to play for another four hours. Probably four and a half hours, as a matter of fact. I'm going to go until 11 o'clock. I don't know what time it is for you guys, but yeah. I'll probably be playing this on Saturday. Saturday morning, like Saturday and Sunday I stream in the morning, and then Monday and Thursday I do evenings, evenings. But yeah, if you guys ever see me doing something that doesn't, that there's a more efficient way to do it, you can say it. And thank you for the follow, YY. Hopefully I can learn something from you guys, and you guys can learn something from me. Hopefully, the, I hope this was useful, that you guys are... A little bit I know right here, just to get the everything gets set. The temperature seems to be going pretty good so far. Yeah, we can just store everything. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, still got another good four hours today. You like watching streamers because they work too much, you don't get to play? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's what you do, you remote log into your computer from work, and you play from work. The way you make money while you play games. About 1600 hours in this game, nice. So you're as much of a noob as I am then. I've never launched a rocket insta. I get, like I said, I get so enthralled by making the base just everything work as best as it possibly can. So I can never have any problems. Like I can, I can go leave the, the game running for a hundred cycles. I can go to sleep and wake up. My dupes are still fine. They can still survive on their own. That's the kind of base that I like to build. Perfectly stable, self-reliable, never dying bases. That's my, my goal. 
yeah, fully sustainable. I never have to worry about my dupes are going to run out of something. I make sure there's always a source of dirt, there's always a source of water, there's always a source of oxygen, a source of power. Every time if something goes wrong, the dupes already know exactly what to do. That's the kind of base that I like to build, and you know? I'm just absolutely perfect. It, it, it doesn't help then. <laughs> uh, 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 what's we call it? I'm very OCD, getting a mission, everything is working exactly the way I want to. I don't want to give any, any skills yet. They're, they're getting enough morale, but I want to get more research done. I want to get all the research finished first. You know, I've actually never used some of the stuff. I've never actually used a power control station. It produces microchip, increase the power output of generators. That I didn't know. Sounds up because it's just a tune up trait. That is pretty cool. I need to use that. I've never used that <laughs> that station. They work they work on wheels? Oh that is good to know. That is really good to know. Saw the polluted oxygen out of the way already. Alright, guess we can demolish this. No, oh, not, not, not the letters. Yeah, this is fine over here. If you end up doing, for instance, John, trick of a gym to power level your dupes, see to feed like 3 kilowatts back into your power grid. Oh, yeah, and like, like you just focus them on just, just using just wheels, right? I'm not familiar with a lot of streamers, so I'm sorry. You're probably referring to a YouTube or a streamer that plays this game a lot, so. YouTube streamer who does episodic content? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm gonna start uploading these into YouTube. I want to make sure that, like, so this is my first time doing Oxygen, uh, what it means to eventually upload it into YouTube. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to start a, a piss water over here. We're still going to need a way to cool down our stuff. I've never actually bothered using the, the aqua tuner. The way that I cool my water, I run a radiant pipe in a radiator shape, like I do like a triple snaking thing with radiant insulated, radiant insulated so that the water cools down in periods that way the water doesn't freeze and break the pipes but then it freezes, the, it cools down the water and you don't have to use waste any energy so that, to me that was the most efficient way that I found so far to cool down water can we get one more of these guys? husbandry, ranching, noodle arms, ugh, don't like them cooking yeah, sure, you can come in This bit, uh, so you like cooking. Cooking is what you shall do. Get room for one more dupe. And if you guys would like to get yourselves named in the game, just pick up and I'll put you guys as one of the dupes in the game. Just let me know if you'd like to have one of the little dupes named after you. Oh, that's fine. I'll, I'll just drop one at random. Okay, let's pick one of these guys. Inst and you can always... This is this gonna, probably going to go for a while, so... Insta ZX2. We'll, we'll rename one of these guys. How do you rename a dupe again? <laughs> is it under priorities? Can you rename a dupe? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, we're going to pick one at random. Uh, okay, how about Max? Max would be you. Let's find Max. Max is <laughs> finger gunning somebody. Rename Insta ZX2. Yeah, let's throw Iliavi. Alright, Iliavi. 
you have any I'm gonna speak one at random you can be meep doing some research where is meep meep is being finger gunned Eliav is it two else I can't tell or just copy and paste that works yeah there you go copy paste <laughs> So you make sure that whatever it's spelled is probably right. Looks like it's food time. As <laughs> long as it's an attractive genius, that's a be authentic. What is authentic? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Insta. And all those viewers, of course, are they're re automatically recorded on Twitch. So if you ever need to rewatch later where we left off. See if you're still alive in my game, you can always look, click on videos in the top right. Top, not top left. Top left of this other screen, and then you can always just continue watching the rest of the episode on your time. But I'm also going to upload all these to YouTube, so. Alright, see ya, Insta. Oxygen's still good. Still got a lot of research to do. I'm just gonna start preparing for the eventual. I'm gonna eventually do like an airlock stations over here. So I gotta prepare for that. One, two, three, four, five on each side. No, four. Four on each side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then, of course, a uh, manual airlock. <laughs> As you said, genius. Gotcha. So we got, it's going to be the polluted water deposit. And we found gross stuff. I want to I wanna start digging this way, see if I can find anything useful. So let's dig like this. I'll let it pollute oxygen up here. Let's drop a deodorizer. Just clean that. Let's throw one on each side. Yeah, these guys are working hard down here. Are we good on algae? Yeah, 25 tons. We should be okay for a couple 200 cycles until we get hydrolyzers going. Plenty of time. Uh, look at that! Cold biome! Nice! That's what I need. That's what I wanted to find. Looks like we got an incoming food source. Colony achievement. What is the colony achievement? Hatch a new critter. More for Nag. Okay. Did I have a sage hatchling spawn in my base? Or... What did we get? It's a regular hatchling. Where do we get a morph somewhere? Um, I don't even know where we got a special one morph, but uh, I think that a dog wants to go out, guys. Give me just a second. It is seven o'clock. I'm just gonna go a quick two minute break, okay? Be super quick. Right back. <laughs>
All right, your dictatorship is over, Ilyavi. I am back. <laughs> and she is gone, by the way. Not he. Let's see the boobs. I have boobs. I hate my own voice. Every time I watch a video, I absolutely hate hearing my own voice. Okay, let's dig down. Can, I don't think we can dig up select yet. Yeah, we're gonna need to promote one of them. Ah, uh, where's my digger? Abe. Okay, super hard dig. Now you can dig up select. With, with this really nice liquid grain, you can start making what's called frost bun. Like, uh, it didn't even show up yet. So we found some lockers. Go find some Nazi suits over here, probably. Are we researching? Are we still researching stuff? Should be. You know, everybody's busy doing something. Still researching. We're almost done with this little arm. I just like re like researching everything. Because our voices doesn't sound the same in our head as, as everybody he listens. Like, we're here because we have the inner monologue thing going on for us. I absolutely hate my own voice. When I watch the video, I just cringe so much. Like, oh my god, it's not like a truck, a truck driver. <laughs> Look, there's some Weezworth down there. Let's grab it. Weezies. I don't know if we have enough phosphorite. Do we have phosphorite? Where'd we find filtration? Not a filtration medium. What's it called? It's cultivable soil. There's so, okay, we have a little bit of phosphorite. We try to tweak a little because when you start streaming sound is Scottish. Nice. That's not a bad thing. People love Scottish accents. Oh good, there is some pinch of pepper over here, which means there's phosphorite and there are the little Dracos, which we probably should start working on making a Draco farm. Oh, I never closed this down. Let's close it. Oh, that's a very tiny cold biome. It's very tiny. I would reach the end of the map, though. <laughs> I love I love reading this, but I already went through all of these. So. Rummage, let's rummage through them. Rummage or rummage? Rummage? Ah, oh, there's oil already over here. Nice. That'd be useful.
need some access to read fiber and so that we can start making atmospheric suits when we have to venture into the darger, more uh, ugh, more dangerous biomes. Still got a lot of research to do. Do. Oh, I got a lot of snazz, a warm sweater, cool vest, snazzy suit, snazzy suit. All right, Eliav, we'll let you have this snazzy suit. How about that? Yeah, we're going for only one more dupe, so it's got to be somebody worth it. Wrenching, research, supplying, perfect. Ada, that's you. Supplying. How many builders? I might eventually have to break my own rule and get it. Unless any of my guys have interest in construction. Not a single guy is interested in construction. Oof, that's gonna be painful. Oh, nine people should be enough for now. I might expand later. We we'll gotta get ready for building your. Uh, Gotta get our colony ready for geckos or dracos, whatever they're called. Oh yeah, Liavi. Um, what kind of empire are you playing, and what kind of uh, perks they already got? You know, how how late into the game, what kind of size of your empire, what kind of enemies you're facing. There's a lot of questions before I make the decision. Are you in a comfortable position in the game that you can just take whatever you want or you have to pick a certain thing? Take this through. I'm getting atmospheric suits very soon. We need some reed fiber. Oh, this guy's could get some. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and dig this guys through so we can get some of those dracos. Is there a wrench? Have better shapes so we can kill basic enemies and again a lot of alloys. Do you already have uh, galactic wonders and all that? Oh, poor little guy just died. No. I had a wrench already, didn't I? So I'll be mule wood, because this is going to be for drag, because they love eating mule wood, so. You don't have mega structures, you want to build a defensive planet cracker ship? Yeah, I never saw the point of getting the planet crackers, it's such a waste of a resource, in my opinion. Critter Dracos, Draco and Draclets. Yep. Can I do auto wrangle? Automatic wrangle any creators that exceed the pollution limit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, that's fine. Don't need to. Let's wrangle some of these guys. Start farming them. Clean all the linen. I mean, all the little 
Oh yeah, we don't have a wrench here. We need a wrench here. Who was the guy that loved wrenching? One of these people had wrenching. There you go. Ellie, go wrench. Apparently you can go crazy and just go all the way to wrenching. Be a super wrencher you want to be. Yep, have a super level 3 guy. Yep, pay the bills. Oh, need more research because we finished up three. Let's go this one. Let's go research everything. Just go down the list. It's your first game in a while, so you wanted to go completely insane. Gotcha. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. We start getting better laboratories very soon. Make sure we get more access to more cold biomes here. In this game, only like you can attack those little guys, and sometimes they can they fight back. But the biggest enemy here is in the environment. It looks easy because of the way I'm playing, I'm, I've already kind of like know this game upside and down. But right now, most most people are already dead by now because people just forget about oxygen and they're already dying. Like right now, look at oxygen is still perfectly fine. Like all these areas are unbreathable. Like they they will die if they sit there too long. So the environment is really the biggest killer in this game. If you're not too careful, the environment will kill you. Like there is like you can accidentally open a volcano that all the lava just spills and kills all your little guys. So you really gotta be careful when you play this for the first time. Yeah, there's not a lot of oxygen down there. This kind of looks like worms, yeah. But completely different game, though. <laughs> I'd say it's more like Lemmings and RimWorld. I think RimWorld is the closest thing. Most recent games, at least. I'm gonna open these biomes. I need those Dracos. I wasn't gonna open them originally, but oh, there's some oxygen down here that could help us. We should get a ladder here going at some point. This is good to begin just to excavate, but now that we're actually relying on going there very few, next a lot of times, so we'll probably just dig this whole thing and just make it the drop off right at the top. It might be more efficient. Let's do that. So there's always some sort of method to my madness here. What's the difference between vassal and tributary? A vassal, you can eventually integrate and join your empire. A tributary just pays 25% of all their income to you, but you can never integrate them. Unless I don't think you can.
the sharing stations will be able to get these guys and just you can get some uh, what's it called reed fi fiber so you can actually start making clothing atmospheric suit for my guys do I have that yet? I do not <laughs> gotta finish all the research first Um, the tributary, can they become stronger? I'm not sure. I mean, if, if eventually all vassals have a chance to rebel, so if you're, if you're, if you're not careful, they could de eventually just take you over. There have been very few times where I actually decided to purposely let myself vassalize so I could take advantage of the 50% research boost. Uh, but yeah, you can always do it. Where is the... I need the atmospheric suits. Exosuits. Alright, let's go this way. Yeah, we still have a ton of algae that we can still take advantage of while we're still digging through this. Oh yeah, we had that Weezworth up there. Did, did we ever grab that? We didn't. Okay, let's plant. Where it's really warm in our base. It's kind of warm on this. It was kind of warm. It's not warm anymore. I'm actually going to drop it over here. I'm going to plant the Wizworth right at the entrance to our base. <laughs> She's grooming the little guy. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah, this game is adorable. But it lures you that with the cuteness, then you play and it's like, oh my god, this is like a nightmare. Now I'm not gonna get any more duplicates unless it's a builder. Yeah, no builders. Thimble Reed, I'll take that. That help us make more fiber too. For that, we need polluted oxygen, which is great, because we we're making all this polluted oxygen that we don't know what to do with it, so... Let's go ahead and drop them over here. Um, or just drop them right down there where they're being created. So for this, we're gonna plant this wart seed because this this generates cold, consumes heat, and generates cold, which will keep the base nice and temperate. So I don't have all this stuff that I want. So we have hydrolyzers. Do we have hydrogen generators? We do not. Uh, the next thing I research after that is uh, hydrogen generators. After we're done with that, we can research. Where is it? Where is it? Hydrogen. Right there, okay, advanced power gen, okay. So after we're done what we're doing, we'll go that way. What's our morale looking like? Everybody's happy. Everybody's got more than enough what they want. Probably pr promote some of these guys. Yep, let's, let's do it. Better hats, super duper. You want farming. You can totally go farming. We have more than enough morale now to support it. This guy can go masterworks. Go for it. Be a masterworks. You can be research. Where's the field research for now? Don't need to go astronomy just yet. You know what? Just do it. <laughs> it's fine. We got plenty of morale. This guy can take it. Astronomy. Lindsay, she likes supplying. She can be improved supplying. This bitch likes cooking, but she doesn't have any skill points. Perfect. They come through this portal. They get created by a, a portal from the center of the map. And sometimes the, the thing is not really centered. There's like a chance that it doesn't appear right in the center. So they're called dupes. Like, we can, I guess they're all clones for the most part.
We're actually gonna deconstruct this because we don't need it anymore. It's not dropping all the way down there. Okay, so for this I want to plant the reed fiber because this right here it consumes polluted uh oh it needs to be is it cold enough over here? That was warm enough rather? What's the temperature like? 25. Okay, it's it's enough. So I'm gonna copy this because this will consume all this polluted water and we can turn this into fiber that we need to make our suits. So that's good. Yep, priority nine. Get that done. Anybody unhappy? Just Insta Z. It's kind of unhappy. We don't have an, any things written to paint or something. Yeah, we can research that very soon. Are we done with that thing at the bottom? Nope. Still got a long way to go. I'm gonna need a ton of reed fiber. Okay, what the fuck, guys? What the fuck? Why are why is this why are you letting this happen? Do we not have enough bathrooms or something? We have plenty of bathrooms. I don't know why that just happened. Got a clean line of sight. Okay, they're probably, probably gonna be cleaning the base up now a little. But then do some maintenance while we do all this research. Got a lot of stuff to clean up. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're just cleaning up the base. Perfect. More research done. That's good. Do we have the this, this, see, we need the, where is the, this one? Exosuit Forge, so we can make Exosuit, so that we can, I'm going to make an uh, airlock here, so they if they go outside, they'll be wearing nice suits. And of course, we're still going to need the hydrogen and the hydrolyzer, so we can actually have proper tactical stop time. You can always pause, yeah, you can just hit spacebar, if you want to pause it. What do you mean, tactical stop time? What do you mean by that? Yeah, pause, yeah. There's pause. I'm just playing on max speed right now. Because there's not much going on. I'm just letting them take care of the base for the most part. I wish we are going to build showers and better bathrooms too. I sure we don't have those yet. We still got a lot of research to do, so that's why I want to get all that done while we take care of the base. Kind of is worth, I'm just gonna uproot this, use it for our base. It's anywhere that's kind of warm. Not really. It's kind of nice in here. Remember, remember how bad it was at the beginning? We had that little huge red thing going in. It, so it cooled down now because we don't have that problem anymore. So I'm going to plant it. Like having right at the entrance is good because then it keeps the base cool and nice. I'm going to drop one right here. And let's just drop one each of these. Probably drop some more airflow tiles as well.
get some of this air and go down. Or try to make our base as optimal as it can. Keep going that now. Uh, yep. I did. There's up here in the left. Nine. That's it's pretty much one per bed. Okay, research is finished. Okay, next task. Let's go for yeah, let's get some of this uh, renaissance stuff. Just get this out of the way so I can start making this better morale. In the meantime, clean up, people. This place is a big sign. Clean it up. Have more wheeze works? Yeah, we do. Thought I did. I need to find more of these works. We just have the one here. There's one up there. We can get. Let's go ahead and dig that one. All this oxalide right here, this is just oxygen that is stored in a rock, so they just let the oxygen out. Right now, this is the, this is super like early stages of the game. By the way, we're just trying to get all the research done so we can optimize our base. Right now, that's all we're doing. Just getting the research out of the way. We got our bedrooms. This this even these batteries are in a terrible spot because it generates heat as well, which hurts your base. Like right now, everything is nice and cool in here except for the you know, the compost. We could probably move this outside the base too. They don't need, need to be here. I'm actually gonna do that. Let's put them outside. Composts. How about it? Put you right on the top. Right now, just way out there. We don't need to have composts inside our base where we breathe all the time. Yeah, this consumes polluted water, so it'd be nice to get generate some clothing for us. Some of our dracos are already dying, so they also give you meat, which you can do it. That's my dirt. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the, the, pretty much this compost, they compost what it does here in, in the old version of the game used to create fertilizer, but now it just it just depollutes people. Uh, like it, it takes polluted all the rotten stuff and it, it, just, it just turns into regular usable dirt. God, this place has so much metal. Yeah, I have 127 tons of copper. I've never had that many in previous games. This place is definitely rich in metal. I haven't even dug all of it, yeah. It's just so much. Oh, there's a geyser here with salt water on it. We explore a little. There's another huge boulder right here. Another Weasworth over here. I fruit it. Let's dig it. These things are very helpful for keeping your base cool and nice. And that's what we're doing here. We're keeping the base cool. As in the opposite of hot, not awesome. But kind of awesome too, I guess. Oxygen is still kind of a problem. 22 tons of algae is not going to last forever. But one thing at a time, right? That's a lot of salt water. Good lord. It's so much salt water. Baby Draco, Draclet here. Let's, let's wrangle it. <laughs> let's bring it home. How's the research going? 
Where you got the first stage. Good. After this is done, I'll drop some of this landscape canvas above here so we can have a oxygen of the problems, the solution. There you go. Well, the oxygen is really good inside the base, which is where it matters. I'm surprised how well distributed it's exactly inside our borders. And this stuff doesn't matter down here because nobody's going down there. Yeah, but this this layout with the insulated will help your base stay nice and cool so it doesn't you don't die to heat like most people normally do when they play this game. Anything to research? No, nope, still got one more to go. Okay. Let's go ahead and make those canvases. I want to make sure now that nobody's doing decoration but my super guy there. Priorities, priorities. Yeah, no, I want no decorating for anybody. This allowed, I just want you to be able to. Yeah, you're the only one allowed to make paintings because everybody else will just make shitty paintings. So, furniture, landscape canvas. Perfect. One, two, actually. We're gonna do regular small ones, I guess. Just to trigger my OCD, it's not gonna have exact. Mm. I must fix this. It's gonna make this is gonna annoy me to no end. Two, three. I just need to move one over. Okay, we're gonna do that. Stuff I do just to make sure it's very well. So your artist is not painting <laughs> with her paint gun. Nice, that's a pretty video picture. Sea pepper pinch of plants, some barbecue, stuffed berries, some frost bun. It'll be nice too in a mess hall. Alright, Eliavi, have a good night. Let's go ahead and drop another landscape canvas. Our directly farm is going well. Still no digging, they need to clean this place up. They still have a lot of cleanup to do. Still a lot of research to do as well. We're almost done with that one. How's your food? Got plenty. Probably should get a grill going so we can make some. Start making frost buns. Should I put this outside? It generates heat, doesn't it? It does produce a little bit of heat. So let's just make it right outside. Make some frost buns. We have a ton of sleet wheat in our. Within reach. I don't think they can reach this, can they? Probably not. No, this is going to block the growth of that one. This is good. There, that should be more than enough for this guy.
That research is finished. Let's finish something else. I want to go for... Where's the in hydrogen generator? That's what I need. There you go. Advanced power regulation. Perfect. Let's go all the way. Let's just start working down the line now. Temperature like this, but it's still pretty pretty cold, even though it's in, set all this extreme heat over here. So much salt in this place. And that is a ton of slime too. Gotta be careful with that one. Some polluted oxygen will start causing problems. It probably should drop that. Oxidizer. As well. Okay, now that's what we've got coming. Probably not going to use, of course. Uh, now I'm gonna get a dupe. Yeah, no builders. Let's get a copper ore. Now this guy, I want to forever build frost buns. Forever. Barbecue. Forever. I'm gonna need a free freezer as well. I can just drop them in the cold biome, but they just stay cold. <laughs> Let's save on energy, but don't really care that much. Don't need to be that stingy with power. I don't think I don't want to place this because I won't be able to reach. Let's put it on this way. No, it needs to be closed. Close to this. Okay, to do it. I'm gonna have to do it. Empty this out. Let them just fill that stuff up. Sorry, dupes. I know you worked so hard to clean all this stuff up. I just took it all out. Another achievement, whatever that is. Let's see. Duplicate with the masterwork skill paint a masterpiece. Nice. Look at that, so it's generating a lot of morale now, right? Let's see, room overlay. Uh, this is a gray hall, nice. Plus six morale, very, very nice. Something I also want to do now is create some uh, na nature preserves. It's almost silly. If they walk through, they get a small boost to morale as well. It's a room as a nature preserve. Must be terrible for nature preserve. At least four. Oh, it needs wall. Okay, it needs wall plants. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright, so it's not that easy to do it. <laughs> that makes more sense. At least only at least four wild plants and no industrial machinery. Okay, so this was completely pointless. Got it. I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. <laughs> the beatings will continue to morale improves. I remember that. Where, where is that from? I remember hearing that so many times. All my friends say that all the time, I just don't remember wh where it is from. The military? <laughs> okay.
Is there at least four wild plants in here? It doesn't look like it. There's one, two. Nope. Not a lot of wild plants in here. Maybe in the other one we have it. Can make a nature preserve of this. Because we're not going to. After we get all the whiz words, we can make a nature preserve. Yep, we can do it. Yeah, we're gonna make this a nature preserve. Needs to be all connected first, though. Just dig it up. Letters don't affect. It's not gonna make it stop being a nature preserve. Ladders can affect heat distribution, although we don't know if that trick still works. Let's see. I guess it doesn't anymore. It used to, I remember that. The was it metal ladders that used to do that? Looks fine to me. A gap between letters. Ah, okay. Hmm. Like a one by one, like this, but it in, up and down instead. There's another Weasworth, or why can we plant that one? Where is, is there a place that is warm in our base? Not really. Base is actually quite nice. I guess we can put one right outside the portal, or is there anywhere getting warm? It is kind of warm down here. And this is temporary until we get our hydrolyzers and everything. Let's drop it. Let's just, let's just drop a waste forest down here. Good for creating a heat barrier around power generators. Yep, that's very true. Space is so inefficient right now. Nope, no dead spots. Looking pretty good right now. And this is very early, me, so we it's only cycle 44, so we're not gonna have any gas issues, not for a while. I'm working now is the to get the I'm working to get the Atmos suit so I don't have to worry about stepping outside. It's just unbreathable. They'll be fine for a while. This early biomes, where they're close enough to the base that they can step a little further. It's when you get into the, the into this, that's where you die because you have all this slime and stuff. Or if it's too hot. Right now, it's pleasant outside, and it's like, you know, 
we haven't even finished digging up the starting biome. Not that we need to. Still got a shit ton of algae that we can use. Plenty of food. So we might as well finish the research completely before we go any further. We have our hydrogen generators. Let's start planning those out. Okie dokie. So we're gonna. Oh yeah, we're gonna. I forget for you. I always get refined metal. That's the one thing I always forget to get refined metal. Alrighty, let's get that done. We haven't researched that yet. Never mind. <laughs> yep, that's the plan. I'm actually gonna put in two airlocks here and the ammo suit stations right at the top. That's my plan. Right now, it's insulated enough that the heat is. It's can just it's staying inside as you can see of course. So notice how all this because th that's the, the I rushed the insulated tiles very very early because I saw it was getting extremely hot with all this red around it. So like nope, let's contain this heat. Let's not let this kill our base right at the start. So by keeping that nice and cool, uh, it looks like they're storing ice in here, aren't they? Is it under miscellaneous? Nope. Raw mineral? Nope. Liquefiable. Yep, they're storing. They were storing ice or snow, maybe. Who knows? The plan, yeah, because plans never go wrong. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, right now it's extremely stable, so we're gonna let them clean up the base a little, the base just a little bit, while we finish the research up. No builders, huh? This guy's builder. Okay, I might have to set up one more bed just for that guy. We need a builder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh, of course, it's just one off on the side. I usually like to stick with just nine dupes. To me, that's the optimal number, but we're gonna have to. I think I'm just gonna do two more. One, two, three, four. One, two. Ugh. Really, it's off by one. Because I know later the, the nice bed stick four tiles, right? Oh, I didn't even build this right either. Yeah, I'm actually off by two. I'm gonna have to redo these then. Just realized that I didn't actually build this bedrooms correctly. Scary clown demon. Oh, that's not a scary clown. That's that is a hunter's mask. If you ever played uh, Dead by Daylight, that's what it's for. I cosplayed her a long time ago. I even made this cool, cool props like a proper, you know, axe. <laughs> But yeah, board games, I have quite a large collection. I'm up to like, what, 275 or so? I love board games. Like, I, like every other week I have friends come over and we play board games, so... I'm a fan. <laughs> since the board games seems to be going through a golden age lately. Okay, everything is sealed up. Let's do the nature reserve. Now, th does this prevent us from harvesting from it or no? I'm always been curious about that. Can I not put this here? Are we not allowed to put this in here or something? Unoccupied oh, space. And this looks pretty. I'm not, uh, I've never used nature reserves. I wanted to see what it's like. They're going to be coming here a lot to harvest all this wheat, so they're going to be getting a lot of research boosts. Maybe it's too big. Maximum room size. Okay, it has to be 128 tiles. Okay. So it is a bit too big. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to limit this then. This is a good limit. I mean, good reserve right here, I guess. Hey, 
Hey Matt, how's it going? So let's go ahead and drop a park sign over here. First we're gonna have to close this completely. Finally got into the second edition game, nice. Are you doing the Roll20 or real life? <laughs> Left my ass real life, yeah, no. Okay, so now there should be enough here to get these guys in the... Uh... I should probably do this actual airlock. So this cold air doesn't go out, it's not... Yeah, it doesn't, it's not, not holding that matter that much. Stations, let's make this a park now. Furniture. Park sign. Yep, we can make this a reserve now. So what does the YouTube have? At least four wild plants, no industrial machinery. Plan six, perfect. I'm playing through the Iron Gods campaign right now on my current playthrough. They almost accidentally left, let loose uh, an alien that would uh, consume the world. By, by accident, they almost did that. So, so that, that happened. <laughs> they kept feeding the thing like blood from the enemies that they kept killing, so the thing grew a taste for human blood, right? So, it's, it eventually in two days the thing grew up to be from a medium to a colossal size. Because it was an alien from another, another planet, they had no idea what the creature liked. So what did they do? They feed the creature blood from the people that they just killed. Like, this sounds like a great plan. I was like, are you sure you want to do that? And they just kept doing it. Eventually the thing escaped from the from the from the base that they I'm sorry, from the fallen spaceship that they that they found it in and eventually into town and they started eating kids in town. And they still didn't do anything about it. The next day, when you know, the people in the town started complaining that there were other children were missing, they want to know who was responsible for this. Their druid is okay. Maybe we should try and find this creature. See if that's because the druid didn't care. The druid like was raising the wild, so didn't care that all these people were getting killed. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Whatever. So she eventually went through the woods and she found where it was coming from, and went there and you know they killed the thing. But in the process, they almost lost three of their players. What is that game? That is a Pathfinder. We were playing through the Iron Gods campaign. Like I'm a I'm a DM on that camp on that game. And I, all the stuff that my players do is just like mind-boggling. I was like, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I'm like, are you really sure? Like, I have to ask several times until they realize that what they're doing is not very smart. How big is this room in here if we were to make this another reserve as well? Yeah, it was totally their fault. So, the thing is, the town never really learned the town never actually figured out that it was them responsible, so some of them are actually losing their good alignment because they managed to do something that is incredibly evil and nobody caught on to that that was them that was responsible for it. So I am penalizing them through alignment shifts. It's only fair, right? And that the least I can do is shift their alignment. Because they did not <laughs> They should not just keep a good alignment for doing what they did and not care or try to assume responsibility of any kind. It's like, yeah, no, you guys are getting hit with this. <laughs> There's nothing you guys can tell me that will convince me otherwise. Like, sorry. <laughs> that, that was a pretty evil thing to do. I'm gonna think I'm gonna make this another nature preserve. Yeah, let's put it right there. Nice, this actually worked. That's so cool. I've never used Nature Reserve before, so I'm actually kind of glad that this worked. So every time they come here, they're gonna get a nice boost to morale just for going through that we're preserving the environment that we're finding.
you're gonna be coming through here a lot. So, like, nobody's researching anything while I'm waiting for research, so let's go ahead and pick something to research. Okay, we need a ro uh, rock, rock crusher, so I'm going to start making refined metal. That's important. Temperature looks good. Oxygen looks perfect. Food, plenty of food. We're even making frost buns right now, which is super, super high quality food. Right now, I'm in the process of extending this bed so that we can... not We can. Oh wait, I can't because I needed to make the bathrooms. Oh my god. I'm actually making the bathrooms on this side. This side then. Yeah, I'm gonna make the nice bathrooms on this side once they're ready. For, for now, let's just make this the proper size bedrooms. This place up. Let's do it. Yep, this room. Come on. Gotta deconstruct this too. Thank you. Alright, so that's done. Let's go ahead and get some paintings in here. Because that makes people happy. Yep, there's no decoration whatsoever in this place. Yeah, this painting is give a huge morale boost. Throw some airflow tiles in there as well. Look at that fast working. Well done. I don't think we have enough reed fiber for all this. Luckily we have a Draco farm. We have actually were lucky enough to find three of these to plant. So that we're consuming the polluted oxygen here. Reusing everything. Oh yeah, we forgot to add a research. Oh, they're already finished? Wow, that was quick. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're just stashing a bunch of stuff. I mean, stacking several things. Dumb decisions are the best decisions? Agreed. The same group, right, that I'm playing right now, the previous campaign, it's called Hell's Rebels. Uh, they decided it was very smart while they're in Hell to talk to these prisoners in hell there was this little girl right inside a prison in hell acting completely innocent at first they were thinking of letting her free but uh, lucky for them one of the players had had true sight going on so they could see that this creature had been uh, this creature I mean this uh, little girl had been possessed by a demon for a long time and once they start talking to her they realize that this she is like evil incarnate and they had like they did like a knowledge history check to find out where this girl actually came from and they find out this is the this is like a it was a serial killer demon that l l enjoyed um, getting inside she loved yeah you know, this demon loved to possess little girls and just murder whole families I mean it was pretty pretty terrible but she always she acted super innocent so of all the people in hell, like there was like several prisons. The ones that they talked to, there was a priest. The priest was actually the only good aligned person in the entire hell because he was he was actually captured by a demon and sent there. So he was constantly being punished. And the players ended up putting the priest out of his misery so he can go back to heaven. Because he was stuck in hell forever, whatever. And the little girl, and I forgot what the third one was. I think it was just like a previous enemy that they fought in the past that was stuck there, but she was coerced and she was being tortured. For eternity, they eventually just let her die there. Like, okay, I guess she deserved to be in there, so there's no reason you guys should rescue her. I mean, she was pretty evil, deserved to be in hell, I guess. It was an interesting campaign. Right, so how big can we make bedrooms? Let's look at room sizes. Because these are still considered barracks. Bedroom. Oh, they have to be single ones. Oh, they give a little better morale, huh? I might eventually make a better bedroom. 
Maximum size though, 64 tiles. Oh, we can make it, we can put everybody in the same. How big is this one? Can I tell how big this bedroom is? Room size 48. So can we put one more? So it's one, two, three, four. So it's four by twelve. What movie was that, Wolfie? That was a, a Pathfinder game that I was DMing. It was not a movie. So four times so four times twelve here, forty-eight. So one, two, three, four. So another sixteen. Sixteen plus forty-eight. That will make it sixty-four, wouldn't it? So yeah, I guess we can put one more bed in each of these bedrooms. Sound like a movie you watched in the past? It's not It's not that hard to make an uh, analogy to hell. Lots of movies enjoy talking about hell. So yeah, I guess we're gonna put one more bed in one of these. Food is still good. Still okay. Yep, still got plenty of food. So we're actually gonna extend this to put one more bed. So two. Three, four. I'm sure I'm gonna make this a bigger colony. I'm not used to. I usually get stick with only nine dupes per colony. But I'm gonna make an exception to this case. See if I can make a survivable base. Hey there, German Gunner. How's it going? Keep on this open. You just woke up. Nice. Very nice. So we have to put different size paintings on this side, but that's okay. If any of you guys would like to have one of the little dupes named after you, you just let me know and I'll put you in the game, okay? I just like to let people decide if they want to or not. Like, do you want to live in this environment? How does this game work? It is a survival, it's a survival game for the most part. Where you have a you start with a colony with like only three dupes in this portal and a, a little bit of food, and you're supposed to like you you have to worry about let's, let's go through the overlays uh, oxygen of course because the game the, the game is oxygen only included you have to worry about power then your temperature the kind of materials you find you mentioned that there's light overlay as well plumbing ventilation decor germs eventually farming quality of rooms yeah and then there's mission shipping there's space there's space as well and then there's all the different biomes that you can explore it is a very fun game I'm not um, I'm not gonna uh, what should we call it I'm not, I'm not gonna play it small this game is extremely complicated to get into it but once you learn it it is such a fun game to get to play I enjoy enjoy playing this game way too much so right now this is our Three bedrooms, which should be more than enough. It's very, very pleasing here for everybody to, that's living there. Let me make sure that they count as they still count as bedrooms. They're, they're barracks, but whatever. Yeah, this has to be single comfy beds. That's fine. <laughs> Wait, they still count as single beds. Oh, uh, because it, it needs no no cots. That's why. All right. Yep. Yeah, so this these are gonna be comfortable bedrooms eventually. But we're still very early in the game right now. The only thing I'm doing right now is just researching, getting everything, all the research done. This, this things, yes, they're uh, they're just animals that wild animals. They're, I'm not really farming them; they're just there because I don't really care for them. 
the one pets that I have here are this little dragon. They're like little sheep that they cause, they start. Bedroom says single occupancy. Yeah, I might not even, it doesn't really matter. Like, we're, we're actually doing, because that just gives a, a difference is one or two morale, so. Because here's the thing, like, this is why I decided it doesn't really matter, because single comfy bed says for both of them, right? Like, the bedroom and barracks, they both say single bed. So that, that's the thing, I'm like, why are we getting this considered a barracks if there is, where, see, both of these say single bed, single comfy bed. Yet this considered, I think, I think there's the minimum requirements to have it. So as long as it has a bed and comfortable, they still count as a bed. It, it's weird. Like, this game has a couple weird things like that. So the next thing I want to start working on is maybe water. Not water, sorry, bat bathrooms. Mm. Oxygen is starting to become a problem. Alright, I need, I need to get those suits going and hydrolyzers. Did I, did I finish research hydrolyzers, by the way? An energy thing? God damn it, keep clicking the wrong button. Uh, right click, what, okay, here we go. I have. Yes, I have hydrogen generators. And do I have plumbing? I should have by now. I do. Perfect, let's get this started. So now it becomes the fun part. We start mess messing with, me with machinery. Um, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I'm gonna actually just pump from here. I'm not using, really using this water for anything. So just go through the outside of the base, it's fine. We're gonna start our power generation here. So, first things first, I need, I'm gonna need two electrolyzers that will, this will convert water into oxygen and hydrogen. So I'm going to go ahead and drop one, two of those right here. And, a, and then I'm going to start ventilation because I need to pump the gas out. Which I haven't researched yet. No, I did. Gas pump. There we go. So I'll drop it right there. And of course, I have to make the room. And of course, I'm going to need to filter the air coming out of that room. There's the... What was I looking for? Gas filters. I don't have gas filters yet. I'm going to have to research that next. We're just getting the basics set up for now. Hydrogen generator. We're probably going to, I'm going to get two of those. We're also going to, we're not going to, need to start getting refined metal, so I need to get that done as well. So I'm going to go refinement, rock crusher. Let's put it, this uh, heat machine is like to leave it outside of the base. Let's hope these wires don't break. Putting some ref uh, basic refined metals before we have a liquid refinery going. We got a ton of copper ore, so we should be okay to just crush a couple of them. What this water is going to do is pump the water out of this, this container, send it over here to be hydrolyzed. Oh. This idiot. This idiot. Got stuck. And always assume the dupes are complete idiots, which is exactly what it is. Like this one right here. <laughs> Alright, priority. Yellow alert. This idiot got stuck. Not that. Jesus. What does she do? She go and stay there. Okay, there you go. She's free. <laughs> ah, dupes. Should just be renamed derps. Would be a more appropriate name for them. Gonna make a double of these too. 
yeah, this game is amazing as far as like things you have to think about throughout the game. Do we have enough food? We do. I'm just gonna I'm gonna get that builder. I really wanted a builder in May. We need a builder. Even though it's Noodle Arms, which is kinda sucks, but this one also likes building. Mole hands, better excavation, small bladder. Yeah, no, I like this guy. Plus seven construction is pretty powerful. If any of you guys would like to, like I said, if you want me to name a dupe after you in the game, you just speak up and I'll put you in the game. I know some people think that's corny, but that's why I let people decide if they want to or not. You like to be a one German gunner? Okay. Uh, let's pick one of these guys then. Uh, how about then? What the new guy here is May? I think that's a girl. Proof construction. Would you like a guy or a girl, German Garden? To be you. Okay, done with that research. Let's research the next thing. We needed. What was the thing we needed? Male, preferably minor. Okay, we'll see if that there's any miners there. Uh, smelting, do I need, no, what's the thing I wanted to research? Gas filters. There you go, filtration. I'll just go all the way, actually, go to later here. We need this very soon. Okay, let's see if we have any miners. Abe, there you go, here's the digger. That's you, Abe. Let's find Abe. Where is Abe? There's Abe, which is now. I just don't know how to type her name. I'm just gonna copy from the Twitch chat. It's the epitome of laziness. There you go. There you are running around, digging. I'm actually cleaning up right now. What I'm doing this for is so we can have oxygen and, and hydrogen, because hydrogen will provide energy. And this rock granulator, we need to get, uh, I need some copper. I need some refined metal. So I'm going to go ahead and make uh, 99. We're going to need a ton. Oh, we need one extra table, because we, we, we built an extra person. They don't have a mess table. I'll just drop an extra one. Uh, only if you attack them. They become hostile if you attack them. If not, they just leave you alone. It's starting to get a little warm over here. We need to get working on the bathrooms as well. Yeah, the food is kind of shitty right now. Hang in there, guys. We'll get better food soon. Have valuable resources worth attacking for? Yeah, I usually get meat. Most, some, most of them give meat. Some of them give other stuff. Like right now, I have an actual ranch right here that they were farming these draclets that give fiber for now. Eventually, they, they, if you if they breathe hydrogen, they become glossy, which they make it plastic. Can I eat people? No, sorry, Wolfie, you can't. I like the way you think, though. Yeah, I knew there was a glossy one. See, this this one here produces because he he was he breathed a lot of hydrogen, so he became glossy. So let's go ahead and wrangle this guy. Somebody get them, please. Okay, <laughs> I like how he's, he looks very unhappy. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and drop him off over here. Classy Draclet and Draco. Probably should have made this a little bigger too so we can fit an incubator, but see these things they love eating this meal wood, so they get they 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 spit phosphorite which is used to feed the wheeze which keep the base cold. 
because uh, uh, temperature is a, it's a big base killer for, for first starting players. Okay, this is almost all done. How's the research doing? I already have filters. Okay, so we can we can get our filters going. So gas filter. We're gonna need one to start to separate the to get the gases, and then one to separate into. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna try and make this very efficient. So there's just gonna be a little mad science going on right now. So it takes in through the white. It filters a specific gas to the yellow, and what's left is goes to the green. So I'm just I'm gonna do a little bit of a. Yep, this way, like so, because it, 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 there is logic to my madness here. This is the the air that comes out. I want to want to come out a little earlier before the other. Insulation, gas bridge, gas pipe will go that way. So this will send all the air coming out of this into this filter. Wait, I, I, they're in the wrong pipe. Oops. Okay. Uh, ventilation, gas pipe, come in through this one. What comes out will go towards the hydrogen generators. Will be optimized later. This one can come out through here, and then go into this one. And the oxygen that gets produced will go towards the base. But before it goes to the base, we're gonna probably send it to some reservoirs we're gonna build eventually, which we don't have it yet. So for now, it just goes to the base. And before it goes to the base, we're going to need to put stations here. We're going to make atmosphere suits. That's why we need the refined metals. Okay, so we're still away from, still a little ways away from using all this. So we're just getting started with the pre uh, preliminary buildings. This looks confusing, but it's it's gonna make sense in the future. Trust me. I need somebody to refine this metal. I put in priority nine. Oh, we don't have anything researching. Let's finish the research, guys. So anything we really need right now? Looks like we have everything else that we need. Oh, here we go, gas reservoirs. Let's just, let's just go down and research everything. Don't really need to focus on anything right now, so we'll just go down this line. And these are just manual generators right here. So right now, this is a very uh, primitive, uh, you know, energy producing right now. But it'll be better in the future. As we we're, were building right here. This is just a uh, water intake that's going to convert the water into hydrogen and oxygen. And this we're going we're going to build this with conductive metal. So that's why we're waiting to build the power supply. 